The jab is the most important punch in boxing. Establishing a jab on Pacquiao is not easy, but Ugas' jab was spot on and on the money from the beginning. Here, Pacquiao uses his usual tactic of countering with a right hook over the jab. Notice how Pacquiao leans forward to bait a jab from Ugas. Pacquiao counters, but the punch comes up short as Ugas pulls his head back to evade. Similarly, Ugas hunches forward to deceive Pac and create the illusion of being closer than he was. It gave Ugas the ability to bait and counter all kinds of punches from Pacquiao and the capability to go in and out of the punching range. If Pac can touch Ugas, that means the rangier opponent can reach him too. Establishing the jab on Pacquiao also helped Ugas to facilitate and set up his body attacks. Rolling under a punch and sidestepping to his right is one of Pacquiao's ways to create angles while being defensively responsible. Ugas anticipates this move and instead of reaching with a cross, Ugas throws a jab to catch Pacquiao quickly using a shorter route. Pacquiao's adjustments were to keep his exit as tight as possible and by avoiding pivoting to his right. Here, Pacquiao uses the double jab to close the distance and set up his rear hand attack. Ugas sees through this tactic and defuses Pacquiao with a right cross before he could further his attack. Ugas took advantage of countering Pacquiao's assault by letting him close the distance to launch an attack. Pacquiao caught wind of this and tried to halt his attack and evade it as soon as he felt that Ugas would counter him.
Pacquiao blocks a right cross with his Ugas is aware of this. Using his longer reach, he shoots his looping right cross past Pacquiao's guard. Using a jab and double jabs, Ugas forces Pacquiao to lift his guard while stepping toward him with big swinging punches. Adding to the predicament is the fact that Ugas will shoot his right down the middle too. While Ugas was able to dictate almost every aspect of the fight, it does not mean that Pacquiao was not able to lay hands on him. Pacquiao's signature combination gave Ugas some problems and buckled his knees several times in the fight. Pacquiao was able to chin check and penetrate Ugas's tight guard. But it was not enough to beat the man with a better game plan in your Dennis Ugas. If you want to see more in-depth boxing breakdowns and analysis, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss anything.